can yeast scream? The answer may surprise you. This question popped into my head as I was researching brewing traditions. Yes, I know I'm a total loser with way too much time. But I came across a really interesting tradition. Norwegian brewers have been screaming at their yeast for centuries. So before we figure out if yeast can scream at us, we'll examine the interesting tradition of humans screaming at yeast. Hello beer nerds, this is Beer by the Numbers. Brewers are a strange bunch. After all, they spend most of their days thinking about microscopic fungi. But the tradition of screaming at yeast has to be one of the strangest I've ever heard of. Today we're going to scream at some yeast and see if we can hear the yeast scream back. Let's get started. This tradition started in Norway and the brewers there claim that they do this so their beer will be strong and people will be cheerful when they drink it. Granted, I feel like shouting for joy every time I get a delicious draft, but there has to be something more going on here. Some beer historians from the area had an alternate theory. Screaming at the beer wasn't done to make it stronger, it was done to scare away evil spirits in order to keep them from infecting the beer as the yeast was pitch. But did people really believe things like this? After doing some cultural research, the answer is a resounding yes. In most of Scandinavia, supernatural spirits and rituals surrounding them were much more a part of daily life than anything we can imagine today. Even two generations ago it was common for people to open a door, wait a moment for a spirit to pass through at first, before finally going through themselves and closing the door. And there's plenty of writings from the region that show just how seriously people took these traditions. The psalmist Sigvard Angeset, born in 1885, wrote this in his autobiography. That the supernaturals existed was as certain as anything could be. There was no lack of people who had seen them, or at least traces of them, throughout the ages. So screaming at yeast makes a lot of sense if supernaturals and spirits are a large part of your life, but why do people continue to do it in 2017? The answer seems to be complicated. For one thing, superstition in many forms, astrology, homeopathy, is still alive and well. And for another, many do it either because it seems to be a natural part of brewing, or simply because they enjoy it. I decided to give this a shot with my latest brew. Perhaps it will do more than I think. Hey nerds, how's it going today? So I've got this lovely golden ale working in its primary, but it's supposed to be an apricot golden ale, and my kit said I needed to pop this open two days into active fermentation and give it a little hit of a three pound can of apricot puree. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in now. Mm -mm -mm. So go right in that beer. Hopefully make it nice and tasty. And I'm going to seal this back up quick. But before I do that, I'm going to test the great theory that screaming at your yeast will help them grow. Now I think you're supposed to scream while you pitch them, but I'm a little late in the game for that and I gotta get this apricot in. So this is the only other opportunity I have to yell at them um, while they're still bubbling away in the primary. primary. So let's see if this makes this beer any better in a few weeks here. Hey you guys! Okay, I'm gonna seal them back up and hopefully that beer is gonna come out nice and delicious. Talk to you later. I'll be sure to check in on how that brew went in a few weeks. Now that we've screamed at some yeast, can they scream back at us? Before we go trying to listen to yeast, we have to remember what sound is scientifically speaking. Uh, it's simply a compression wave through a medium that our ears detect and our brains interpret. Sound is really useful for us humans evolutionarily speaking. After all, every motion of predator and prey alike makes a sound, and sound allows us to communicate complex ideas through speech. Luckily for us, because almost any motion causes a sound if you have a microphone sensitive enough to hear it, yeast just might be able to scream back. Using a microphone thousands of times thinner than a human hair, we can hear what a yeast cell sounds like.
Now scientists believe that this sound is the motors inside a yeast cell moving things around as it completes normal cellular functions. Its sound is pretty eerie, isn't it? But they found that you can, in fact, get a yeast to scream. All you have to do is give them a little too much alcohol. Although yeast produce alcohol, they don't like it in really high quantities, like the vodka researchers dumped on them. The screams we hear are actually the sounds of their cellular pumps working double time to remove that alcohol from in and around their themselves. So there you have it, beer nerds. Yeast can actually scream. Perhaps if you listen really, really closely, you'll be able to hear them too. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you want to be alerted each time we tap a fresh episode of Beer by the Numbers, hit that subscribe button. Stay curious, beer nerds, and as Carson McCullers once said, next to music, beer is best. <laughs>